Well, first of all, I would make sure that it fits what you, that you're driven, um, because I don't believe you can instill driven or motivation. So I think you have to have your own drive and your own motivation. But if you have those, then, I mean, it is a business in a box. And if you can work for yourself and run your own business, then I mean, you're going to be pleased with the outcome. My advice to them would be um, it's a wonderful business and franchise to get into if they're seriously considering a franchise. But I also always tell them that it's a lot more work than they think they're going to get into. I think a lot of people, um, customers, walk in the store and think, oh, I'm going to open up one of these. This is a great concept. I'm going to open up one of these. But I just want people to know that it is a lot of hard work in initially, but you just got to stick through it, and eventually it pays off. And the support system is just wonderful. You just have to be prepared for it. If you want to be a franchisee and you're willing to work hard, uh, you can definitely be successful at this business, especially uh, with the times we're in right now with the economy the way it is it's an excellent opportunity to build and grow a business uh, the advice i'd give someone owning a wanting to get a once upon a child would be to definitely research winmark and see how they outshine other franchisors because they do the advice I would give somebody who is considering to open once upon a child is to go for it, look into it, um, go to Discovery Day, and I think they will be quite or pleasantly surprised at um, the support and what once upon a child has to offer. It's a great product, a great brand. Um, it's definitely something you should pursue and look into. Uh, the advice I would give a prospective franchisee would be to uh, go visit a lot of stores, talk to a lot of owners, uh, look at your community and see what other um, you know, competition is around and then uh, make a decision from there. Being a store owner is a lot of work. Um, it, it, it does take up a lot of time at first, but it is worth it. If you're considering opening up a, a Once Upon a Child, I really strongly suggest that you um, visit a number of different Once Upon a Childs because all of them, because they were individually owned and operated, they all have a little bit different feel to them. And so it's really important that you, you know, check out a few different ones. And if possible, we've had people come and actually work in our store, uh, you know, for a couple of days so they can really see the day-to-day -day operation of the store and see if this is something that they really are going to, going to enjoy. I think when considering a Once Upon a Child store as well as any business opportunity that you want to look at a couple different features. You want to look at the support you're going to get in the system, I think both short term but also long term, the infrastructure. One of the biggest advantages we found was the point of sale system and the evolution of that process since we bought it and where it is today that they keep on moving forward with it. The advice I would have for somebody that wanted to purchase a Once Upon a Child store would be Mostly, mostly some soul searching about themselves more than the business. The business is fundamentally sound. That's the easy part. If somebody applies themselves, if they work hard, they have enough capital, the business works. That part is easy. So it's just, it's just them deciding if being a small business owner is the right thing for them in their own personal situation and circumstances. Make sure that it's right with you. Make sure that it's right with how it is that you're living your life, how it is, what it is that you want out of opening up and starting a business. You know, I would, I would open up another franchise um, with Winmark. I do, um, there's a number of different franchises, so it would be kind of neat to branch off to one of the other concepts, you know, and do something a little bit different, but I definitely would stay with the Winmark brand because it's, it's, it's a great company. The more you put into it, you just you can stand back and it's just a huge sense of accomplishment that you gain when you when you're uh, when you're working in, um, working towards something you know you're working towards a, a huge goal and that goal is a, an, an asset and something that um, you know you can sell one day I guess my primary advice would be work in the store for a while you know do you feel comfortable putting in the hours it's a retail operation putting in the hours and greeting people and be sure that's what you want to do for a career Definitely go in there and volunteer and work for a week or two weeks. Learn how the, the in-store system works, not just you know behind the scenes and see what you're getting into. Because it is hard work, but it's well worth it.